All right, fellas, you may notice looks a little different than normal, not at the regular bench. I'm here visiting another YouTuber, Roof Repair Tex. Right there, Roof Repair Tex. That's what his logo looks like on the YouTube there, though. Um, he doesn't have any content right now, but I'm trying to get him to start making some videos. So we'll see how it goes. But anyway, he loves German tools. So I'm here at his place. And we're going to check out some of the tolerances between these hex keys, L keys, from PB Swiss, Weera, and Weeha. So, it's not apples to apples, Swiss to Germans. I'm starting out here with these uh, Weera. Notice they have the locking mechanism here. Pop her open, she comes out. Easy to grab, easy to pull out. Holds them in there real nice. I mean, this isn't... If you don't get it closed and you're falling off of something, these aren't going to fall out. Slide her back in. Clipper. I mean, excellent. You can pull them out while it's closed. You know, it's your preference, whatever you want to do. These have a hex plus feature where uh, Weira says that they grip the fastener 20% more than a standard hex key. So. I don't know. I I haven't used it, um, but from what I understand, it's actually really nice. So we'll see how that affects tolerances when we measure these. The PB Swiss. These are, well, the, they're expensive, but at the same time, this isn't just a regular old steel. This is spring steel. Spring steel is very expensive to machine and manufacture, but these are going to hold up a lot, a lot longer. And that's not a chrome plating or anything. That's machined and then polished. I have paint here on the side, designate colors, so, you know, you don't have to look around for your 6 mil. You just grab the red one. You know, if you're working with them every day, you can start doing that. And real easy to differentiate which one you got. If you got a 5 and 6 that you're working with, you know, you just grab the red one or you grab the orange one. It's easy, which is also the same thing with the Weera. Weeha Ergo Star. These have a feature where they slide right open. You see that? I don't know about you, but that's pretty damn cool. And all you gotta do is turn one of them. Top, bottom, whatever. You know what you like slide in and out real easy also and that's a hell of a way to hold your uh, hold your hex get them in and out it's very innovative now let's do some comparisons on the size I don't know if you guys have noticed this here at the end probably not but um they're the wobble each one of these has the wobble the ball end um, this one has a feature there though where it's like a compression ring in your engine a little piece of spring there that pops in and out and what that does is you have your fastener or a weird 10 millimeter socket you get that in there and she stays she doesn't come off she grips put her in there just a little bit see how she still wobbles she still doesn't come off that's one of the nice features of this uh, Weira does have about the same thing. They have a ball detent here on one of these six sides that allows it to grip and stay. But as you can see, there's there's nothing there to hold it. Same thing with the PB Swiss. They um they don't have anything there either. PB Swiss also does not have any retention device they don't have any holding function on the bottom of these balls so if that's something you're interested in you got we are we are to look for that now we're going to take some uh, measurements here we're going to go ahead and use one of these certified accurate eye gauging origin cow that has the absolute zero so yeah a little higher end than most of the stuff you find at Harbor Freight, but you know, what can you do? You can find this on Amazon for about 
48 bucks, 48.50, somewhere in there. But certified. Go ahead and throw your guess in the comments over Weira, PB Swiss, and Weha as to who you think is going to win this. Um, I don't know anything. You're going to see my first time measurements, and we'll go from there. But um, I don't know anything about German tools, so I don't know which one of these is the best. I know that PB Swiss says that they are accurate up to under a human hair which is four to six thousandths so we'll see I mean you'll you'll see too here on this Weira we're getting 9.92 on a 10 millimeter L key here on this PB Swiss got 9.95 so as you can see that is within a human hair right in the middle now the Weha 9.97 we were talking about how the Weha have this uh, compression ring or spring here at the end for a holding function um, and Weira has it as well um, Weira is set is ten dollars higher than the set we have here for that function so when it all comes down to it the Weha is actually less expensive with a retention spring at the end versus the Weira. So, fun fact. Now let's do the six. Let's see what they come out. That 5.94 there. The PB comes in at 5.96, and the Weha comes in at 5.97. All right. So now where it really matters the little bitty guys. Bigger you can have a little slot, but little guys you can't have any. There's the Weira. 1.96. There's the PB. 1.96. Now the Weha. 1.96. So across the board on the small ones, everybody's batting a thousand. Get up here a little bit more and your Weha's a little better. You get up a little bit higher, your 10 millimeter, it's Weha's even better than the other. Yeah, who'd have thought? The cheapest one. Spring on these. If you get the Weira with the ball detent to hold everything tight, they're more expensive than these Weha. Sometimes you can't tell the quality of a tool by the price you're paying. And that's just so cool right there too. Look at that. So now let's do the ASE, or SAE, standard, the good stuff. Here with the wear, the 3 8 we're going to measure them in metric, just because it's easier. 9.44, the Weha, you're getting 9.49, wear a quarter inch, comes in at 6.26, Weha, quarter inch, 6.30. We're a eighth inch, 3.14, we have a quarter inch, 3.15. So when you look at these results here, you notice that Weira is uh, quite a bit sloppier, not only on their SAE, their standard, but also their metric. And the way I was measuring this is, I was going across the... Uh, highest points you see in there these are dished concave actually if you measure in there it actually gets quite a bit more slop look at that 9.25 9.44 so yeah they uh, they may need that or it could just be a gimmick who knows? Now, uh, Weira is an innovative company. This is a nice handle. You know, there's no sharp edges on it. It's round. Uh, it does feel really good in the hand. But if you need something precision, I think if you look at all the different brands we have here, even the PB Swiss, uh, Weha kind of blows them out of the water. And not only that, um, don't think Weha is not innovative. They have the compression ring there to hold on to it and get extra grip 
you can put something on that and set it in there and turn it you know that you don't get that on any others Wira has theirs but they don't have it in SAE only metric so here you go again this is what we're using eye gauging origin cow it's a uh, nice caliber too certified paperwork on it and everything I do have the documents so after seeing all the numbers here leave a comment down below saying if you were right if you were wrong if we hob blew you out of the water if uh, you never heard of PB Swiss uh, I actually think that they're the best looking ones out of the bunch but again that's just so fucking handy as always like comment share subscribe love hate to hard knocks forge gmail.com don't send me any panties because they never fit all right guys just a real quick one here look what I got yeah we'll be talking about this later